I'm working on a pillow cover using Chalk Couture ink. I put down my transfer and I tape down the bottom and the top to make sure that the ink doesn't run off of the transfer where I don't want it to be on the pillow cover. I'm going to break down all of the colors and go from pretty much the top to the bottom of the snowman. So I started with his hat in a traditional black color. Whenever you're using ink, you want to use a very light touch and just lightly glide it over the transfer. You sometimes want to go over it more than once because you want to make sure that the ink has gone all the way through and is covering the surface area. I have finished with the nose and now I'm doing the tree branches of the arms. You'll notice I'm using a multi-tool instead of a squeegee for these areas because it gives me a lot of control with the ink. Next, I'm moving on to the scarf and I decided to vary the colors with red and green. So I'm going to do all of the red colors and then I will go back and add all of the green. Again, you continue to use a very light touch and just really make sure that the ink has gone all the way through the silk screen transfer onto the fabric. If you take your time and lightly glide the ink on, you really shouldn't have any trouble. You don't have to worry about the ink drying as quickly like you do with paste. So there's no reason to lift up the transfer at all as I move on to the different colors. For this top part of the snowman, I'm using the multi-tool again because it's a very small area. Once I get down to the bottom, I can use a regular squeegee, which is much easier to work with. Again, just take your time, go up and down in a um, smooth motion to spread all of that ink through to the area. Now I'm removing the tape and then I'm pulling the transfer from top to bottom. My snowman is complete, but just to add a little more something to the pillow cover, I'm going to add this green tree. This is from a separate transfer and you can do this in any color that you want. Chalk Couture has about 30 colors of ink along with it. Once I have finished this transfer, I'm again just going to peel it up. Now once I have finished with all of my embellishments, you want to heat set your ink. Once the ink is completely dry, you iron it on a cotton setting, you put parchment paper over the protective surface, and then you iron it for four minutes on one side and four minutes on the other, and voila! Here you can see you can do this on a 